Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Osuper501, and today I'm going to go over the lowest recoil build for the AS Val in patch 12.9 of Escape from Tarkov. Now, before we get into the video, 99% of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed, so make sure to subscribe if you want to keep up with all of my Escape from Tarkov videos. And like with all of my builds, there will be a link in the description to the Tarkov Gunsmith website where you guys can go and see every part you need for this build and see updated prices for all those parts on the flea market. Now, there's not actually much you can do to the valve. There's only a few parts that are going to change the stats very much on this, but I wanted to do this build because if you guys don't know, the ammo for the Val, or I think more specifically the penetration for some of the ammo for the Val has recently been buffed and there's going to be a lot of people using the Vows now. I think the day after this was buffed, we just saw tons of these things everywhere. So there might be some newer players that want to see good builds for the Val. So I think this might be back into the meta like it was a couple wipes ago where a good chunk of the matches you're in, you're probably going to be facing off against some really kitted guys with an AS Val. First off, for the site, you need a mount to put a site on the AS Val, and I'd recommend the SVD low side mount. Now, there are a bunch of other mounts you can use on this, but the SVD low side mount is the lowest one to the gun, so you don't have to, in the middle of combat, try to determine a higher height over bore, so it's much easier to just use a weapon normally instead of having to adjust your aim on the fly because your sight is so much higher over your barrel. And then for the site, you can use whatever you want to use. The only things you have to determine with the sight is how much is going to affect the ergo of the weapon, what sights you like to use, and at what range you're going to want these sights to be used on. And then for the grip, we're going to be using the AS Val Pistol Grip Buffer Tube, and on top of that, we're going to be using the Magpul PRS Gen 3 stock. And then for the magazines, most likely if you're fully kitting this weapon, you're going to want to be using the 30 rounder, which is the only 30 rounder. The only other choices you have are a 10 and a 20 rounder, and even if you have the vendor on Unlock to be able to buy these mags from a vendor, it's still one of the most expensive parts of this weapon. So keep that in mind when you're going to be building this weapon that the mags are probably going to be one of the biggest expenses. Now for the grip, it's going to go on the Taz 6P29M mount. This is also going to be the mount where your tactical device goes on. For the grip, we're using the Zenit RK2, which is the lowest recoil. Now with this weapon, I would recommend using either the RK1 or the Fortis Shift tactical grip. The RK1 increases your recoil slightly by two vertical, but also gives you an additional five ergo. The shift tactical grip goes more into that, increases your vertical recoil by three, but gives you an additional 12 ergo compared to the RK2. I personally think that is going to be a better choice than the RK2, but the RK2 is still the best for recoil. On this same mount, we're also going to have our tactical device. I'm currently using the D-Ball tactical flashlight. You can use whatever tactical device you want but I'd always recommend having an IR flashlight and the D-Ball tactical flashlight if I'm not mistaken is the only tactical device with an IR flashlight and a normal flashlight which is very helpful if you're playing in any dark parts of any of the maps. Then you don't really have any choices for the suppressor you're just going to be using the AS Val barrel suppressor which comes on it. We're also just going to leave the standard rear sight on it not really a reason to take that off and also with the dust cover you don't have any choices for that either. So like I said, there's not actually a lot of different options with this weapon. It's essentially just sights, tactical device, stock, and grip. But like I said, with the bullets being decently buffed, I think a lot of people are going to want to be using this, especially when they start seeing a ton of other people that are fully kind of running around using this. A lot of newer players might want to look in to using one of these as well. And like I said, there will be a link in the description to the Tarkov Gunsmith website where you can find this build with all of the parts you need, which will also show you updated prices for all of those parts on the flea market. So subscribe if you want to see more Escape from Tarkov videos. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about the AS Val. And thanks for watching. <laughs> No, no, please. What is this? What is this?
Vale. А вот тут друган мой бывал точно. Зачем, блядь, чё? Сука, ёбнули нашего! Выполняю. Чужая! Bad guy, over there! Блять, в укрытие! 